Hello, hello, geometry students. So this is geometry B5, additive property of length. Let's go ahead and jump right in. So if you notice, I am starting in the middle of um, this lesson. Here's the reason why, because I do feel like the very beginning of this lesson is so self-explanatory. Um, we are going to pick up with a few decimals, and then we're going to go into the questions that I feel like you would probably need the most help in. Let's go ahead and get started. So if I read this story question, f to g is equal to 19.6, this measure from f to the g is 19.6. The measure or distance from g to h is 15.2. The question asks, what is f to h. Well, that would be adding those two values together. So let's do this concept. 19.6 plus the 15.2 is going to be equal to the f to h. So technically, let's just grab a calculator and let's add those. 19.6 plus 15.2. Talk to me. Talk to me. Tell me what you're answer is 34.8. Let's go ahead and answer that in there, 34.8. So F to H is 34.8, and we'll submit that. <clears throat> Excuse me. So here's where I believe that you need me, okay? I really think that you can get the first section, and now this is where I'm all yours. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look, and let's do the same. This plus that equals the total length. Let's go ahead and write it. So C to D is five. This plus D to E is three X. That, which is three X, because it says right here, this distance to this distance is three X. C to D is five, is equal to the total distance of D to E, so we have, oh, excuse me, and CE, excuse me, I forgot one right here, CE all the way to E is 4X. So there's our total, 4X. So this question here is asking you, what is D to E? It wants to know what this measure only is. So nothing's going to stop us now. Let's go ahead and solve this equation. Flashbacks from Algebra 1. Let's go ahead and do it. So what is the opposite of 3x? A minus 3x. So what's the opposite of a positive 3x? A minus 3x. What I do to one side of my equation, I have to do to the other. Let's bring our 5 down. Let's bring our equal sign down. And let's do a subtraction. So what is 4 minus 3x? We have 1x, or divide by 1, divide by 1. 5 is equal to x. So if this answer said, what does x equal? We'd be done. But this question says, what is only d to e? So d to e equals 3x, or 3 times x. Well, what is x? x is a 5. So this is initially going to say 3 times 5. What is 3 times 5? Yes, it is 15. So I think we got our answer. 3 times 5 is 15. And submit. Let's do it. Let's do another one. Are you ready? <clears throat> this plus that equals the total length. Okay, are you ready? So this plus that is going to equal that total length. Let's do it. 5x plus 4x is equal to 9. My question says, what is q to r? I only want to know what number, what is the answer to q to r only. Let's go ahead and do this. Are you ready? 5x <clears throat> plus 4x. So one of the concepts that students want to hear is that 
when it's on the same side of the equal sign, all I do is combine those two together. So 5x's plus 4x's gives me a total of 9x's is still equal to 9. What is the opposite of 9 times x? It would be 9 divided by. So I'm going to divide by both sides a 9, and I am left with x is equal to 1. My answer does not say what is x equal to. It says, what is q to r? So I'm going to plug in this one right here. This is now going to say 4 times 1. What is 4 times 1? It is, you got it, 4. Good job for you. We'll click submit. You know, I always like to keep my videos under five minutes. I really believe that um, you are capable of making a great grade by just learning under five minutes. Um, if you want to stick around, I'll work one more. If not, go ahead and try your lesson right now. Remember, if you're in my class, um, if it, this seems quite difficult for you, you're welcome to get a 70. If this is a skill that um, you feel like you're confident in, please get a 90 to 100. Let's go ahead and do one more. This plus that is equal to the total length. Let's go ahead and write it. Let's go ahead and find out what it's wanting to know. What is D to E? What is this measure right here? Let's go ahead and simplify. If they're on the same side of the equal sign, in this case, 2x and 7x are both on the left side of the equal sign. So I can combine those two together because they are like terms. 2x's plus 7x's is equal to 9x's. Then we're going to equal 9. Divide by 9. Divide by 9. x is equal to 1. Oh, it's another easy one. Again, I'm going to pick up this x because it says wherever I see an x, I want to place it in with a 1. When you have a number next to a variable, it always means multiply. So this is 7 times x, or also known as 7 times 1. 7 times 1 is, you got it, 7. You guys have a fantastic day. It's been a wonderful day working with you again. I hope you make a great grade. Uh, like this video. You guys have a wonderful one. Bye-bye.